Hello all, welcome to our YouTube channel JKOSoft. In this video, we are going to see the basic differences between active as well as a passive components. First of all, we need to know what is an electric circuit. An electric circuit is a, in simple terms which is defined to be the combination of circuit component and electric current. So before jumping into the differences between active and passive components, we need to know what is a circuit component. A circuit component is a basic building block of the circuit. So depending upon the characteristics or the role in which the components playing, we are classifying the circuit components into two types. One is an active component and another one is a passive component. First of all, we need to know what is an active component. An active component are the one which has the capacity to deliver or supply electric current to the circuit. Few examples of active circuit uh, elements are a voltage source, a current source, generators, alternators and transistors. From the name itself, we can, uh, we can come to a conclusion that a voltage source or the current source has the capacity to deliver voltage or the current to the circuit. So, we can con conclude uh, an active component as the capacity of delivering or supplying electric power to the circuit. Next, we are jumping into the topic of passive component. A passive component are the one which will absorb the electric current and dissipate in the form of heat or store in the form of magnetic or electric field. Few examples of passive components are resistor, inductor, capacitor and transformer. So, so, the resistor will dissipate the electric power in the form of heat and the inductor and capacitor will store it in the form of electric and magnetic field respectively. So, next we are going to see the differences between active and passive components uh, from the definition we saw earlier. So, in terms of role in the circuit, active component will act as a source and passive component will act as a load. For example, here in the circuit, so the active component is a battery and the passive component is a, a bulb. So the active component will be on delivering the electric uh, current and the passive component will be on observing this electric current and it will be glowing. So the battery is an active component and the uh, bulb is a passive component which is a load. Next in terms of functions, an active component will receive energy in the form of thermal, chemical and hydraulic energy and it will convert into the form of electric energy and it, that will be dissipated in the circuit. Whereas a passive component has a capacity to observing all the electric energy and convert it in the form of heat, light or rotation or even it can store in the form of magnetic field or electric field. For example, if we take a fan uh, as a circuit, so the load will be the power, so that power will be dissipating and um, uh, the fan will be on storing the electric power and it will rotate. So this circuit will define, this complete circuit will define the function of active and passive components. Next in terms of power delivery on observing. So in terms of active component, it has a capacity to deliver as well as observe the electric power. Whereas a passive component has only, has only the capacity to observe the electric power. So that's all about the basic differences between the active and passive components. If you like our video, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel GKOSoft. Thank you.